Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out on the water for a quick session. We've got an afternoon run out, so we've got about probably a couple of hours of half tide down. So just fishing a big weed flat, big weed edge, and we're just picking those pockets on the weed. Uh, I've had a few messages from you guys saying, uh, paddle tails, paddle tails, paddle, that's all your fish is paddle tails, blah, blah. And I do love the um, slim swims and the minnows. They're my favorites, no doubt. So today we're gonna throw around this little sucker the Z-Man two and a half inch grubs. This is a dynamite plastic. It is probably the go-to if you're new to soft plastics fishing. It's just got loads of built-in tail action. So you can rig it on a size four, two, one or squeeze a one-o in there. Today, I've got a quarter ounce one-o headlocks finesse on there. Uh, plenty of weight. I'm hopping, I'm fishing fast, but I'm, I'm kind of just fishing with a shaky retrieve. I don't want to hop it up too high in the water column because it is shallow. So I'm just shaking that retrieve. So that little two and a half inch grubs, perfect presentation for a brim flathead. I think we've probably counted over 150 species that have been caught on that little two and a half inch grub. So it's a universal freshwater, saltwater, deadly little weapon. I'm fishing one of my favorite colors, which is midnight oil. So it's that motor oil UV with that silver fleck through there. So you get that scale flash as well as that UV glow. So, all right. Let's put it to work on the flats. Z-Man 2.5 inch grubs. Fish on. Fish on, there we go. Oh, that's a nice flay. A handful of casts in on that two and a half inch grub. Midnight all color, my favorite color, especially in winter. And that's a solid flat. He's just clonked that. I'm only in the shallow water, so that retrieve that I was using is almost like a shaking retrieve. So I just give it four or five shakes as I wind it, then I pause it. So there you go, those of you that said to me, you don't fish the grubs a lot. How come you don't fish the grubs? Well, I've got one tied on and I'm hooked up to a nice fish. Hopefully it doesn't bite me off so you can have a look at it. That little Z-Man two and a half inch grubs is an absolute dynamite plastic. It's also, for those getting into soft plastics, it's one of the easiest plastics to fish when you're learning to fish soft plastics because it has so much tail action built into it. So really, you can, there's no wrong way to retrieve it, especially on the flats, where you're gonna have a mixed bag of brim, flathead, tail, trevally, all sorts of species. You can get that grubs and you can slow roll it, you can hop it, you can shake it. He has scoffed this, so hopefully we can get him in the net before he bites me off. They love that big curly tail. That curl tail is a nice long curl tail, which gives you more resistance against the water gives you more action in the plastic and we're in the net you beauty that is a nice flatty and he has scoffed that little z-man two and a half inch grubs so that big long tail on the grubs it's a, a signature of that grub it's caught probably over 150 or more different species that grub fresh and salt and it's got that nice compact body so straight out of the packet you can put it on a size one or a size one OG jig head even smaller if you want for those specifically chasing brim and then that curl long curl tail just draws the fish in and when they strike that curl tail the, the tail just folds away and the fish finds the hook which is perfect it's just that perfect bite size snack get the lip grips on this bloke there you go that grubs He's right on in his gob there. So he's absolutely nailed that. Beautiful. Beautiful start to the session. Oh, I've done it again. I've got to be careful. And lost a nice flatty the other day where I'd clipped the lip grips into the net and the fish went to undo it. The fish went in the drink after stabbing me in the arm a couple of times. So there you go. Beautiful little presentation. That's that 
two and a half inch grubs. Midnight oil color, love midnight oil. It's got that motor oil UV and it's also got that fleck in there, that sparkle that looks like scale flash as well. So best of both worlds in that midnight oil color. And that is a nice, nice solid flatty. Beautiful fish. Great way to start things off. As always, we need to check our leader with flathead and that leader's chewed up, so I'm gonna change it over. Just snip it off and retie that just with a locked blood knot. If you need to learn some knots, make sure you check out Tackle Tactics TV on YouTube or go to tackletactics.com.au and check out our knots and rigs section. There's animated knots there. So you can learn a bunch of different knots to get geared up for fishing plastics. And that's pretty much me. I use a, a double uni knot to join the braid to the fluoro leader. And I just use, at the moment there, I've got a bit of 10 pound Stealth FC, Platypus Stealth FC, attached with a lost blood knot. And I always add a bit of scent Every 30 or so casts, I chuck a bit of scent on, and also, after I've caught a fish, I shout myself another squirt of scent. That Procure Super Gel, just give it a smear right down to the end of the tail. And we're ready to go again. That was a nice start to the session. So right on the edge of that black weed that I can see there. Definitely should be a fish sitting in amongst that weed. Plenty of bait in there, I can see. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's what I was talking about before. The hop hop, as I paused it, he just absolutely drilled that grubs. Hop, hop, pause, and on the pause, he ate it. Not a giant, but a nice little, nice little flatty. And they're all good fun on light gear, that's for sure. Beautiful. Loving that little jaw. You can get down there. Put him on the measure. Let's see if he's legal. There goes my lure out, out of his mouth. It'd be about 39, I reckon. So if you wanted to take that fella home for dinner, you could, he's 41 on the measure in Queensland. Our size limit is 40 centimetres. So he's just over legal. Now it was pretty well as we called it that one. Felt fishy, looked fishy in there. There's a bit of bait flicking around and there's a dark patch of weed. And those weed patches, that's where the bait's holding. Where there's bait, you'll often find predators. So keep an eye out for structure of any kind. But here we are on a big flat, so our structure in this case is often solid dark patches of weed. Bit of scent on there again. We'll run that right down to the tip of the tail as we did before. And often, flathead school, so you can get more than one fish out of the same area there. So we're going to go back into the edge of that dark weed again. We're going to have another crack in there and see what happens. It's beautiful looking water. So I can see the water dropping off the, the flat on the other side. We're on the pan where it's draining out. There's big sand patches and then there's those patches of black weed right on the edge. So there's a lot of water draining off there. And so that bait's just trying to hang up there as long as it can before it gets out here where the predators live. So those flathead being built for that shallow water, they're up there hunting right on that edge. Up in that pocket again, let it hit the bottom, give it a few shakes. So by not hopping, by just shaking and winding, 
<clears throat> we're bringing that tail of that grubs to life getting it up off the bottom without hopping it too high in the water column because it's only shallow in there there's only a couple of foot of water so if we do an aggressive hop hop we're going to spend too much time with that plastic just about on the surface so we want to keep it close to the bottom with that shaking while we're winding and then the pause and be ready that last one shake 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 pause as it was sinking back down boom i felt the tap as he nailed it set the hook push on so we're basically just covering ground here we're drifting along and we're working this edge so depending on how fast you're drifting you may have to cast ahead of the yak or both otherwise you can cast almost straight in a little bit behind you doesn't really matter but if you're drifting fast you need to cast ahead of the drift or anchor heard some bait in there then. <coughs> yep, oh, that was a tarp. Yep, got him, yep, he's on there. He feels pretty solid too. Another normal fish, I'd say. And that's that Z-Man Grubs again. Oh yeah, he's a cracker. Oh, look at that thing. Beautiful fish. Z-Man, little Z-Man grubs. Now, what I do there is I always leave enough line out so that I don't have to pass the rod back over my head or do any crazy rod stunts. What I've, all I've got to do is lift the rod up and swing that fish up and into the net. Beautiful. That is a nice fish in the net. Little Z-Man two and a half inch grubs. Midnight oil colour on a quarter ounce 1-0. TT Lures headlocks finesse jig head so i like that finesse jig head finer wire hook you can see he's pinned beautifully in the side of the jaw so textbook hook up magic that's a nice fish oh he's not happy there goes the lure you can see how good they are at shaking the lure these guys he's in the net and he's shaking that lure That finesse, that finesse jig head doesn't miss, doesn't miss the hookup very often. A fine wire hook, quarter ounce in a 1-0. You can see that 1-0 sits right at the back of the grubs. So 4 2 one, one oh, perfect in this little grub. It's got that nice little fat body that tapers at the tail. What that does is it pushes the water down around the body and around that tail to give it more action. If you've just got a straight body the same width through front to back, you don't get that water flowing around the body so much and really working that tail and especially that longer tail that's on this grubs that gives it that magic action so there we go that's another one in the in the net we've had a short little session so far landed three legals three from three legals and um caught up with the, the grey nomads who are out here for a paddle as well and they've got one from one legally so yeah hot little session get this fellow away